Hello YouTube, Robin Hood Bricks here, and today I thought I'd do something a little bit different because having seen all of the new sets for summer 2023 uh, having been released, I thought, wow, this is really exciting. I'm going to study all these pictures, but I thought I may as well do that with you on board and we can decide what is right for the channel and what is awesome and what's not. So let's get started. <laughs> Okay, so first of all, here is the first creator set, 31141 Main Street. And this is a pretty large set, actually, uh, following along the same lines as the Friends one that came out uh, in last winter, uh, with lots of different buildings with different purposes on, just to bulk out your city. Uh, and I think the main feature of the hotel on the corner is a very good colour scheme with some interesting build techniques, like putting these... Uh, one by two by two windows on their sides, uh, these uh, diet turquoise uh, wheel arches and so on, and this dome on the top. It does look very shallow, I must say. Sometimes I think Lego's trying to save money by economising on both the height of each floor, which I'll come to in a minute, and the kind of depth of these buildings. So it only looks about four to six studs deep. Uh, and this wall is more, so I'd really like to see a picture of the back of it to decide whether it's uh, good value or not. Uh, I'm not too fond of the hotel sign uh, made out of these quarter tiles uh, hanging off the side of it either. A, it looks one-sided, and B, I don't think it's that readable, uh, that legible. So, uh, yeah, not too sure about that, but it's a nice build. We've had hotels a few times before, but... Yeah, it's a nice one. Uh, then we've got a music shop with the keyboard down the side. It's like they saw my uh, vinyl shop with the keyboard built into the floor. Uh, and that looks pretty straightforward. And this is what I mean about the height of each floor, because, well, you've got these one by two by three windows, uh, what looks like one brick level underneath and one above, which makes it, well, very, very short. If you compare it with this minifigure here, there's only just enough room for them to stand up in there. And this uh, attic sort of space as well looks very short indeed. So I think they're saving bricks by really condensing down each of the floors to make the buildings really quite tiny. Uh, then we've got a vinyl store and a band playing on the roof. It's almost like uh, Lego are again watching my channel <laughs> for their ideas or we're just very in tune. Uh, and then we've got more dark, dark turquoise over here uh, with a non-printed solar panel on the roof but some nice sort of hanging plants uh, for what looks like a cafe. Uh, and then just an arch there, which is a bit, uh, well, I don't know what that is. Almost looks like a public convenience or something like that. Anyway, we've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six minifigures. Looks pretty good. I think that is a new torso in there, if I'm not mistaken. It's quite hard to make out. I think we've had the majority of the rest of them uh, in previous sets. But yeah, it'll be interesting to see the price on that one. Uh, I kind of like it, but I don't think it's one for Brick Nottingham. Anyway, moving on. We've got the absolutely fabulous Space Roller Coaster 31142 creator set. And this is really nice. I love the alien kind of embedded in the rock in the middle here. This space station, which looks very much like the one that's uh, stuck to the ceiling uh, above Brick Nottingham. Uh, and then we've got the themed car going in amongst all these uh, objects of comets and distant planets and meteors and great big rockets and so on uh, and even a kiddie ride here with one of these uh, micro figure like from the series minifigure line on and I think that's a really good touch as well again I don't think this is one for me partially because my fairground is absolutely packed and stacked with rides already uh, but also because it's it's pretty much the same set as the pirate roller coaster three and one uh, in that uh, it's just got a sort of simple lap with one uh, upslope and one downslope. This one is actually a figure of eight, which makes it slightly different, and it uses the uh, banked corner. So hopefully it goes round a bit easier than the Pirate Coaster. Um, but otherwise, yeah, I mean, it's great, but it's, it's exactly the same with a camera on, a turnstile, and, well, an entry door and all the rest of it. So, yeah, a good, good set, but, um, again, probably not one for me. Then in this release, there was a couple of odd sets, including this one, which is very much like my uh, incredibly large Robin, which I got 3D printed uh, from uh, someone on Instagram. Uh, but this is the 40649 scaled up minifigure, uh, which looks, well, very scaled up indeed. Uh, and it's <laughs> rather than my one, which is what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven parts. This is 654 pieces, <laughs> but it makes more sense given it's entirely brick built. Uh, and I think that's good. 
Uh, and it's got loads of opportunities for customization, though. It's going to be very hard to customize the face or anything like that. So, uh, yeah, maybe a big print or some stickers for the torso might be interesting to get with that. But I don't think that's uh, what they're doing. Uh, anyway, that's £45 or €50 Euros or dollars. So, yeah, again, probably not one for me, given that I've got Big Robin. Uh, then just one friend set, uh, 41737, uh, the Beach Adventure Park. And this looks really good fun, actually. It's kind of the theme that I'm going for with my uh, theme park or fairground, of course, with loads of different things all jumbled together, lots of colours and almost too much to feast your eyes on. Uh, I like the uh, surf machine and the two surfboards with stickers on. I'm presuming this pink one's or the coral one's got stickers on as well. I'm going to have to try and get for my uh, collection, one of my many collections. Got some new leaf pieces in here in lime, both on the tree and on this juice bar which look really interesting to make a much more compact uh, kind of uh, palm tree because the ones we've had in the past have been a bit big and a bit dominant. Uh, this sort of circular ride, we've seen the like of that before. It's good that it's at an angle though, so that's quite interesting. And it's got the mechanism, of course. I wonder if that, if one's more heavy than the others, it always sort of uh, ends up with the same one at the bottom. But that's interesting with some nice uh, sea details that we'll be seeing uh, in my deep sea cabinet, of course. I'd be interested to get some of these minion hair pieces in different colours for little plants like they have. That's good. Whenever Lego does something like this, at least a few more pieces come out for my collection. Uh, and then probably my favourite bit of it, which I possibly would steal for my theme park uh, if it wasn't already full, is this... Uh, kind of uh, uh, stall, I suppose, where you've got to fire a water pistol, it looks like, past these little uh, octopuses to hit the sail of the sailing ship. There's one on the front and one on the back there. And you can win a prize of a balloon dog, which I think is in a new colour, or some toys. That looks like a ninja toy. Or is that a Lego friend set? Well, that's very generous. Uh, and a bunny. And then this uh, Brit-built octopus pirate <laughs> with a sailing ship behind him. Uh, looks really good. So, yeah, technically I might try and squeeze that in. Though it does look very similar to my uh, shooting gallery uh, with the guns and the moving targets, which I've motorised. And I suppose if I was to motorise this, it'd be very, very similar indeed. So, yeah, I might not do that, but I do like it. And I like the colour scheme as well. So for a friend set, that's a pretty good one, I must say. Anyway, on to the main event of the city sets. Oh, how exciting. So one criticism I've had in the past of City is the fact that they reuse so many torsos. In fact, even when they reprint them and they're slightly different, like this uh, guy with his overalls on for a mechanic, they're, they're always still very similar uh, to the previous ones. But I think this year we've got quite a lot of new torsos. And the first one here is this lady with this... Uh, what would that be? Bright light blue uh, legs and torso. And the torso seems to have pineapples on it, I think. I think that's borne out by the car looking a bit pineapple-y. <laughs> but that's the only thing that really interests me in this set personally. Uh, though the car wash sign is very nice. And I like these bubbles in the white and the aqua. So yeah, that's a good addition uh, if you need a car wash in your city. So that's 60362. Uh, moving on to three. 63 on the end of the 60 is this ice cream parlor. Now, there's a few things about this that I love, uh, a few things uh, I'm less keen on. So, I really like the big 3D ice cream sign. I mean, we've kind of got to have a 3D sign when it comes to a store like this. And I really like the fact that it's melted and is dribbling onto the roof and then off the side of the roof down the side of the door. So, that's a really good feature that's tying well the entire build together, really. We've got these lovely curved windows uh, that we've seen on the hospital before and stuff like that. It almost reminds me of the diner modular. Uh, but the thing I don't like about this is, again, I think it's open on two long sides, which makes it quite hard to use unless you're going to expand it greatly. Uh, so, yeah, it's going to be hard to use in your city if you don't want to have any open backs showing. Uh, that reminds me of some of those very old friend sets where they used to almost have an open roof and two open doors. So I'd be, uh, walls rather, I'd be interested to see that one from the rear as well. Nice uh, stickers and the ice cream sign and this one pointing with an arrow to the store. He's obviously got a cool polar bear on the front. So it's probably polar bear's uh, ice cream shack or something like that. And we've actually got the best minifigure here being a polar bear suit. 
which I don't think is a reprint of a previous one. I mean, we've had a, a panda bear, we've had a teddy bear, which I think used the same sort of head shape piece. Uh, but this one seems to be new for a polar bear, so that's really good. And you could even use that with a plain white suit or an Arctic suit to pretend to be a polar bear <laughs> in a polar bear enclosure. Though I wouldn't want to do that personally because you'd probably get eaten. Uh, that's another really good torso over here with the purple. Uh, and then we've got a tricycle, which I don't think goes to the ice cream vendor because there's nothing ice creamy on it, either in stickers or uh, on uh, contents. But yes, that's a bit unusual. That just seems like a crate on the front. I'm not entirely sure why that's included. But, you know, hey-ho, not a bad thing to have. Uh, and then a red bird on the roof, which is the first one I think we've seen in the city sets that's red. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, we've had those in Harry Potter, of course. So that's good. Next is the wonderful 60364 Skate Park, which is awesome. Uh, at first glance, at the very least, I love the fact that this skater here, uh, which if there's stickers on there, I'm going to have to get that for my collection, uh, can take a basketball and actually slam dunk it in the uh, basketball hoop up here while skating. Uh, then they probably plunge to their deaths off here because I don't know how they even get up here. Maybe there's a ladder on the back or something. But um, I think I'd be scared going off this uh, half pipe uh, with nothing over here or over here. But anyway, it looks like the whole thing might be modular in the fact that we've got these Technic pieces here that you can move this half pipe maybe down here and move this bit maybe up there or something. I don't know. Uh, then we've got Scooter Girl, new torso there. I think this might be a recolor of a torso we had before. These hats I think we've had uh, with friend sets, uh, with a rail ride there, some good graffiti, more graffiti, more graffiti, which I love. Uh, we've also got somebody on a bike uh, and a really cool graffiti torso down here on a hoodie. I really like that one. And we've actually gone full circle back to one by three bricks uh, decorated to be sound systems. Uh, it, we had those originally, in fact, in sets just like this, uh, skate parks before, uh, back in the 90s, I believe. Uh, then we went to the sort of uh, utensil ones, which all one piece. Uh, and now we've gone full circle back to this with the phone piece cleverly used as a handle. So yeah, that's really good. Cool. Uh, next is the apartment building. And we've got more of this sort of tiling using these triangular tiles as decoration on the outside that was recently used on a uh, friend set. Seem to have a cycle lane going right past the door, which seems very dangerous indeed. <laughs> Somebody opens that door, a uh, cyclist smashes straight into it, and they'll be on their way to the hospital. Uh, but we've got uh, what looks like a convenience store with hot dogs and drinks 24 seven on the ground floor. No way up, as I can see it, to the first floor of the apartment building. There's even a traffic light there, which is a bit odd if it's on a bike lane. Usually cyclists don't uh, pay any attention to lights, in my experience. But anyway, uh, so we've got a sitting room in here with a TV. Uh, that looks like a new torso. Kitchen here. Uh, so that must be one apartment. Then up here, a much smaller apartment. Or is there just one apartment in this apartment block? I don't know. So, yeah, it's got a nice balcony. A really fun face for somebody working out who's uh, absolutely tired and sweating. Uh, solar panels and a roof terrace on the very top. So, I mean, this is one you almost need to uh, <laughs> buy multiple times if you could possibly afford it. 85 euros, so probably be about 75 pounds or something like that. Uh, to try and get more than one uh, set of apartments in. I'm not sure I like these... Um, cross lattice sort of panel pieces with the holes in as being part of the wall because it just really doesn't um, shout uh, residential to me. Uh, but probably the most interesting feature, apart from this torso being new down here, is this mobility scooter. Now I've done my own brick built ones in Brick Nottingham, but I'm open to having a different model, sort of rascal type thing. Uh, with an old lady on it uh, going along. Maybe she uh, beezes through the uh, bus lane, uh, sorry, bike lane as well, <laughs> who knows. But that looks like quite a fun set, but uh, yeah, probably not one for me and definitely one that I think needs to be a bit taller. Next in the city line is the absolutely fabulous Winter Sports Park 60366. And that just looks great. It's kind of like that uh, recent police training one with all sorts of things going on on different levels. But this one obviously being ski related with the main feature being this ski slope uh, and 
it looks like you could actually have quite a fun game uh, trying to do jumps or something on the way down, like some of the old extreme sports sets. And we've obviously got a border who doesn't seem to have stickers on, so that's all right. Though that might be a new colour for that piece in coral. A skier with definitely a new torso. Very good. Somebody who's come down on a rubber ring, which looks like really good fun, actually, with handles on. I love that mini build there. That's really good. And then some absolutely crazy person who's going to come down it on a mountain bike. Uh, better you than me. And that looks like a new minifigure as well. So, yeah, that's good. Oh, and a new torso down here for the inevitable uh, first aid kit, probably for this guy on the mountain bike. Then we've got the sports store that's built into the ground floor. I, I suspect this is a lift here where we've got the level one, two and three. So you can take the elevator up to the top uh, with your bike. We'll get off at number two for the observation deck, that looks like. Uh, or to go on the climbing wall, which is really well done, actually. I like that with the rock panel pieces and a few other sort of curved slopes to make it look interesting with these grab holes. Uh, and then you've got a what looks like a play feature, I think, for the guy to go up. So this is exactly the same as on the inside of um, Fast Food Corner, of course. Uh, and I think this play feature at the top, this tyre, will turn probably to power the lift. So that goes up and down, but probably also to power this climber to go up and down, I reckon. At least you could probably change it so it did both if you wanted to. Then we've got good adverts around here for the edge of what must be a skate ring. Another new torso, a little skirt. And yeah, really nice. Lots and lots going on on that set. So that is a firm favourite. Have I got room in my city for it? Ooh, don't know. <laughs> Then on to the sub-theme for this uh, season, which is Arctic Research, it seems. So sort of combining all of the recent diver sets with past uh, ideas for Arctic sets and kind of combining the two. And we've got this massive uh, vessel, which is done with two complete hull pieces, one on the back and one on the front, with a join kind of hidden by this sort of setup here, which means we do get a hole in the middle for lowering things like this submersible uh, down, which seems to double up as the helipad. Uh, lots of new minifigure uh, torso and leg prints, it seems. A little boat that can get winched down as well. All sorts. I mean, it's absolutely huge as well. And some interesting build techniques, because I think that windscreen piece is the same as that windscreen piece, just upside down. Uh, so there's probably lots of room on the bridge on the inside and in there for some sort of labs or something like that. Uh, now, this boat is ridiculously long, so I don't think I'll be able to fit that in my city at all, given how dense I've got it. But wow, that does look good. And the main feature isn't the submerged sort of wreck of a Viking ship, though I absolutely love that. It does look very good. And look, there's an old Viking helmet, shield and axe next to the crab. But the real feature is the killer whale. I was recently asked uh, if I'd consider getting the Duplo uh, a killer whale piece just for using all my 20,000 bricks under the sea cabinet. And I thought, well, I don't really know. I don't, don't really need more Duplo pieces in there because they're quite big and so on. But now there's actually a city one with the right sort of size and proportion and studs and all that. Golly, I might have to, mightn't I? <laughs> so, yeah, how I'm going to get that without having to buy all of this, I've no idea. Uh, the last uh, huge ship came with a great white shot that I still haven't managed to get my hands on. Anyway, that's pretty awesome. But if it wasn't awesome enough, check out the next one. We've got not only a new seal piece, which is not like the Friends one with the great big eyelashes and so on, but we've also got a baby seal. Oh. <laughs> so, wow, they are just wonderful pieces to have on top of our ice flows. In fact, you could have this as a little seal, and almost this is a big sort of leopard seal or something like that, because it looks like the size is quite different. This one looks really quite large. A uh, really good... Uh, side build of this camera with tripod here. I like the fact that they've used the bucket on the front there and kind of this uh, action piece. I think of them as the uh, lens for peering into. Uh, pretty normal-ish uh, snowmobile, uh, but I do like the piece here, this uh, lift arm thing uh, as the tracks. I think that's quite a clever use of piece and they're really going to town with this dark turquoise colour uh, in a lot of the city sets now. Uh, so that's a new colouring of that backpack piece and yet more uh, torsos and prints. So yeah, looking really good. Then the third one in that series is this. It's the 
Sea Foresting Boat 60377. Now, I believe sea foresting is either about uh, researching sea forests, so kelp forests, and helping them grow, or even seeding more as some sort of carbon capture. So it's definitely some sort of green uh, industry that's uh, very futuristic uh, and very real in real life as well. Uh, so we've got a dark blue kind of whole piece for the large submersible, not submersible, inflatable uh, here with a cockpit piece on and so on so that looks like it goes very fast it can almost look like a, a hovercraft i suppose it's uh, quite an interesting ship that that's got a remote controlled submersible uh, submersible on the back as well uh new diver prints uh there must be about 20 different types now but these are all in dark blue and look very fetching indeed uh, that's an uncommon hairpiece, but again the animals are the absolute prize in these sets we've got a fish fine We've got another fish, fine. We've got a crab, fine. But then we've got two new turtles. One is a recolor, what well, looks bright green and dark tan. No, it's probably medium nougat, isn't it, for the bat, uh, for the carapace there, uh, for a smaller turtle. But then a really big one, which is probably a leatherback turtle or something like that, which is very endangered at the moment, in the same color scheme, but a lot bigger. And that one looks amazing. I'm gonna need one of those for sure. But that's not where it ends because we've got hammerhead shark which we've had before but not in light gray and then another ray so we had that one in dark tan before uh, there was one in the um, avatar line and i think there was a weird colored one in what was it ninjago i think it was so that'll be the fourth one of those and that looks really nice with this sand blue with dark blue and uh, aqua sort of dappling on that looks great so i mean this almost seems like a must buy whether you want the uh, actual sea foresting boat or not cool that might be my favorite i think um anyway on to the next one which is called the research submarine 60379 now this is 105 euros which means it's going to be about 90 pounds or thereabouts and I don't know. I don't know if that's worth it for me. Uh, you get this huge submarine, but I don't know. I just, I just, I just don't like it particularly. Uh, it looks a bit sort of solid, a bit like a brick with some claws on the front and <laughs> somebody driving it. Yeah, not my favourite. It's obviously got some sort of play feature where you can open the middle and maybe let out this submersible. Uh, this robot uh, sort of mech type thing looks a lot more fun. More divers, of course. But I think the real star is the undersea build. So we've got a wreck of a ship uh, with the old timbers being the only bits that are remaining. Well, a little bit of the uh, bridge, I suppose, and maybe uh, crow's nest. And then we've got another different large shark. I think that's different from the last great white we had. Uh, seems to be on the print. Uh, and that's a very nice piece to have indeed. Is that a recolouring of the fish? It looks almost uh, a light aqua or off-white, or maybe it's even glow-in-the-dark, so I'd be really keen to get some of those. More of those Minions hair pieces. Uh, and then two regular sharks on what I think is going to be a turntable as part of a play feature. So again, I think Lego's been watching my channel and all my ideas for having a circling sharks around the wreck, <laughs> and they've copied that, though... It must have been in development for a while, so maybe we came up with the same idea independently. But um, yeah, this is uh, them watching my brick calls, I think, and hearing my ideas and thinking, yeah, that's a good one. I'm going to do that too. <laughs> anyway, that is a really nice set. I just, uh, I just don't need the huge thing that comes in it. <laughs> okay, so back to land now with the city centre set, 60380. And usually, uh, I really like these sets because they're great for bulking out your city. But it's just one great big build in a way. We've got a side one on here, joined together by this kind of, sp uh, what's that, sort of air tunnel? Uh, I don't know what you'd call that. Skyway sort of thing. Uh, I mean, it's very interesting. Again, it reminds me of recent Friends sets. Uh, in that it's multicolored, every bit's interesting and kind of with a different build technique. So I really like the fact that we've got, you know, um, medium new guy here and then lime and then different uh, dark turquoise bits here, all the azures here, pinks here and so on. So that's really interesting. Different textures on the outside here and here and here with this going around here. But it, I don't know, it just seems a bit schizophrenic to me uh, in the fact that it's trying to do everything all at once. 
So let's try and go through this methodically. We've got a bit of water here with a chain around it. So is that a pond or a lake or something? And a tree. That's a very nice build. I like that. A barber's here, which I thought was a uh, another cafe at first because I thought that was a croissant, uh, but it's actually uh, somebody's hair. So yeah, there we go. Uh, then we've got a vets uh, above, which we've had before, but that's fine. And then here, I think is a bit that is linked by the sky bridge to the hotel. So I'm assuming that's part of the hotel. Looks like that might be a bathroom. So maybe that's a bedroom. Don't know. Uh, and I wouldn't want to sleep in there because on top, they've got what looks like a party central rooftop DJ thing uh, with these three poles up here that also reminds me of the roof of Fast Food Corner. So yeah, very, very familiar actually <laughs> with a DJ there with green hair and the headphones around his neck. So I'm assuming that's a set of decks and maybe there's a dance floor up there as well. Starting at the top of the other one, we've got solar panels and wind turbines, all very green. More of these uh, leaf pieces for the palm tree, but in normal green, it looks like this time. A roller coaster part as the uh, end of this uh, balcony, and that must be another room up there. But then if we've got the hotel uh, lobby here, then we've only got one small room here and one across the sky bridge. Well, again, I think it could do with being scaled up, if you ask me. But yeah, it's very interesting. Kind of reminds me a bit of that um, uh, Monkey Kids set, the City of Lanterns, and that had loads of different builds sort of all on top of each other as well. Then going down, I'm not entirely sure what this floor is. I really like the inverted slope kind of window piece here, which is uh, an interesting build with these large inverted slopes, which may be new pieces, actually. It seems to not have a join in it, so I think it's just one great big inverted slope, so that's interesting. Makes some good builds. Got some more studs on the side builds here to make it really interesting, so I don't know what's in there. But underneath is the City Comics, I think that says. That would make sense because we've got what looks like a rack of comics outside, a picture for some comics and the comic store vendor with a dinosaur hat on, or maybe it's a uh, mannequin, I don't know. And that would tie up with the billboard, which is my favourite part of it, this advert here, which looks like it's on a 5x8 tile, which doesn't exist currently. 4x8, I meant, a 4x8 tile. So I'd be very interested to see what actual piece that is because I don't think they're going to put a sticker across assembly. In fact, it arguably looks printed. But anyway, uh, that seems to have a superhero and this dinosaur character fighting it out. So I love that. That's definitely going into my city. <laughs> I love it. Uh, anyway, back to the store. We've got a girl here with a lovely raccoon t-shirt and some raccoon ears by the looks of things. So that's good. Another new torso there, it looks like. Potentially here. Uh, potentially there. I think that's new. Can't see that one up there. That one looks new. So lots and lots of new torsos. Uh, a juice tuk-tuk. I think we've seen those a few times before, so that's not that exciting. A little pizza uh, cabin with a 3D pizza sign. I think we've kind of seen that before. Tiny noodles uh, set up, but that's quite good as well to bulk out your city. And a little bike lane right in front of everything again <laughs> to take out people uh, before the road plate, of course. So, yeah, I mean, that's a lot going on. It's a big set, and I'm sure it's got a lot of play value in it. Um, I think it's quite difficult to incorporate for somebody like me in a city without having to sort of double or treble it. But, um, yeah, a lot of play value and some really interesting pieces. I think the comic store, I would like to kind of get the parts for or definitely stickers for including this billboard and make a big comic store in my city uh, i like the bird and the bird's nest in the tree uh yeah I, I, i'm torn on this one uh, the main problem being that it's 210 euros whoo wow that is quite a lot uh so that probably be about well, i don't know 180 pounds so yeah definitely look for that on uh, a sort of deal use my links <laughs> thank you very much uh, so, yeah, interesting. Anyway, let's move on. We've got to make some more progress or we'll be here all day. The demolition site, uh, not much to say on this one. I do like the 2 by 4 tile and it's actually got the apartment building that we looked at earlier on the plan. So I really like that touch. That's really nice. Uh, but otherwise, not one for me. Uh, 60398 Family House. Love the dinosaur torso. 
pretty normal car with the balloon wheels. Not a massive fan of that, but it's good to bulk out your, your streets. Another puppy charging station, what looks like a kitchen, and either a conservatory or greenhouse built on the side. And then, what, one bedroom for everyone? I don't know, but I like the carport. I like this roof that looks like it hinges open for access as well. So that's quite a cool set, actually. Um, yeah, I think this dad's torso might be new as well. I can't remember that one. And then on to da, 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 the new line, which is called Dreams with three Zs. Uh, and there's 11 sets in this line and it's based on, well, dreams. Uh, so it's absolutely crazy, kind of a cross between the craziness of Monkey Kid and uh, Lego Movie 2, uh, kind of mixed with elves and, I don't know, Ninjago and absolutely everything. Uh, a bit of Hidden Side in there, <laughs> even a bit of Ultra Agents, I reckon. And the most interesting thing about this is just how crazy it is. So this appears to be the village, which is kind of the neutral uh ground where you can buy provisions and weapons from the uh, blacksmith, uh, potions from uh, this uh, cauldron, uh, which is hot, I suppose you'd call it, and food from the bakers here. But uh, the witch, or wizard it, she looks like the baker and the blacksmith are all these tiny new little figures with normal minifigure sized heads uh, and beards and so on and hair pieces, but these tiny bodies and you kind of tuck uh, utensils underneath their armpits for them to hold it and uh, they're really good fun and just absolutely crazy so I don't know if this guy's got whiskers or if he's got some sort of retainer in his mouth for sort of dental reasons but uh, anyway he looks very interesting indeed and this just looks really elvesy to me uh, so yeah a really weird scale I suppose these houses are supposed to be small because they've only <laughs> got very small uh, people living in them but uh, yeah it's just crazy uh, don't think that's one for me, uh, though I'd like that torso and the head probably. Uh, but moving on in that, wow. Okay, so we've got a massive rabbit on jet-powered roller skates, obviously. Uh, so that makes complete sense. Uh, probably not one for me. Uh, I don't even know what to say, really. Even these minifigures are so wacky. They make even a video line look a bit normal. Uh, Multicoloured. Uh, bits. I like the face print with this sort of uh, cheek painting on. I could use that in my fairground. And this hair looks absolutely crazy. But my favourite part of this, apart from this uh, bunny with a different print on, which I'm definitely after, is this little dude here <laughs> with one of those tiny bodies. But he's obviously one of the bad guys. I always like bad guys more than good guys. Uh, so he's got a black body, very evil eyes, and a black knight's helmet with this uh, trans pink plume. I love him. He looks very collectible indeed, and I definitely like these sort of jet rocket sort of uh, flame pieces out the back of these roller skates. They could be coral or just attached to anything uh, on fire or a rocket or something, like some parts in that. Hopefully all of this stuff is available on Lego Bricks and Pieces, so I don't have to buy the whole set. Next one. Oh, that was called Izzy and Bunchu the Bunny, by the way. Uh, this one's Matteo and Z-Blob the Robot. Yeah, me either. Uh, so, because it's based on dreams, it looks like this monster here has stolen uh, the uh, character from the last one, which must be Matteo, I suppose, uh, with his retainer, who's asleep, uh, while he's still on his bed. So, they're obviously taking him off to nightmare land. Uh, so, he's being saved by his body up here, who, I don't know, Cooper, Logan, there's all sorts of names in this one now. And they've all got one of these... Uh, uh, hourglasses with the uh, one by one tile on that remind me a bit of time cruisers back in the 90s was it anyway this uh, uh, Z blob the robot looks very good fun with a combination of metal pieces and these green blob type uh, elbows and knees and head and so on and he's firing blob stuff out of his gun as well so yeah again probably not one for me but wow what play value that looks really good fun <laughs> i just like the minifigure pieces and this guy's eye looks a bit weird and his hair yeah that is strange so next we have grim keeper the cage monster and i think the point is here that when you are having a nightmare you get put in his cage like tummy uh, in the prison of a nightmare and he takes you off to nightmare land and he's got a lantern with wings and an eye and a very creepy head uh, so yeah that's really interesting indeed we've got this flying 
thing here, which looks like it's flied by a blob. <laughs> and some more interesting minifigure pieces with more new torsos, which is excellent because one of the best things about Hidden Side, of course, was the fact that we had uh, so many new minifigure pieces and torsos that we can use in the city that look really normal. These look a bit less normal, but that looks really good. Cool. Next, we've got Mrs. Castillo's Turtle Van, which... Again, it's absolutely crazy. So this must be Mrs. Tor uh, Castillo down here. Uh, and wow, she is great. She's got kind of minion arms. And I think this backpack is actually kind of fused with the body part. So she's a very interesting shape compared with minifigures. A very sort of short lady. <laughs> a bit rotund. But uh, I think that's really interesting. I think she could be a person in my city. I don't see the problem with that at all. Uh, so I like her very much. Uh, so I'll be on the lookout for her. This blob looks very interesting. And there's another one of those evil knights, uh, two of our protagonists. And then if you took the turtle bits off this, though I do love that for this uh, the sort of playability of this set, you'd have a very nice <laughs> uh, uh, van here that's very much like that monster truck one that I've got in my fairground selling the monster burgers. Except this one sign says Tortuga's Dreamcraft Shop. And it looks like you can buy... Uh, potions and crystals and so on from this and that is an eight wide build so I probably don't want that in my city we've got a palm tree on the top another one of those flame pieces and a weird blob cat on the roof but I like the sign I want the six by two tile for a um for a bench in my city and the lady down here I think from that good good right moving on the evil pegasus flying horse and I think the baddie here with the Sauron-like uh, eye, kind of, uh, what do you call that? Black crown, and the eye there, and the eye here, and the eye there, very uh, uh, Lord of the Ringsy is the Nightmare King. So he's riding what looks like a very evil My Little Pony with wings, if you ask me, <laughs> uh, with a couple of ribs and a nice uh, sort of horn on there. Interesting tail. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. I think the pink makes it look a little less evil if you ask me. This build down here is very interesting, of the sort of bird thing that looks very Avatar-esque. I love these uh, wing feathers, which would be really good petals for my Under the Sea cabinet in dark turquoise. They look lovely, and I like the tail feathers here as well. I don't think I've seen those before. They're very interesting pieces. Uh, this character again, who I'm assuming is Izzy or Zoe. Don't know. Another one of these little black dudes uh, <laughs> who's got three eyes and sort of I don't know, wings, horns, wispy kind of, I don't know, what is that, spirit, hair or something, and a fork. Yeah, so I like him. Uh, and then we've got another person in their dreams, asleep, uh, in a cage again. And this looks like a sort of walking, flying cage with an eye on the top, so I love the creativity here. And I love that torso as well, which seems to have a sloth, is it, on a twig? That's what it looks like to me. So that's really good quite like the baddie as well yeah so an interesting set that one but not as interesting as the crocodile car i mean who comes up with this stuff <laughs> it's absolute nonsense isn't it but wow what playability so there's a little blue guy on this one uh on the top with what looks like a hockey stick uh there's some driver in here with a very futuristic sort of helmet. That looks very much like a stunts uh, type minifigure, but in the car bit of the crocodile car. Uh, crocodile bit on the front, obviously. Uh, I like that build. Uh, the inside of the mouth is interesting, and this tail piece using another one of those uh, kind of uh, energy pieces. But again, the baddies are stealing the uh, show because we've got a, uh, a sleep uh, Matteo there. And then we've got this guy with this kind of witch's uh, hat. An interesting gun with an eye on it, an interesting torso, and he looks like sort of a, a witch catcher or something, or a, well, he must be a dream catcher, I suppose. Uh, I don't think we know his name, but he obviously works for the Nightmare King, uh, but he's really cool. And then we've got another one of these little black fellows with <laughs> a very interesting big mouth and eyes, uh, with the tongue lolling out there on a tiny little scooter type bike, which is just awesome. So yeah, the side builds here are the winners. Though, well, that crocodile car is definitely very fun. Then we've got right up to 71459 now, the Stable of Dream Creatures. Now, this looks a bit Disney to me, a bit um, like the Magical House, I suppose, that was on the uh, uh, recent Disney set. 
Uh, some interesting pieces that we can use under the sea, uh, flowers and all that, and these new uh, curly sort of hook pieces, which are very interesting. We've got the lady again. I think that's the same face print and torso and so on. Uh, we've got this lady, this lady again, him. He seems to be shoveling out something. Is that food or the other? <laughs> don't know. More of those leaves. Yeah, this one isn't for me, uh, but it's quite a fun looking set. I must say, very colourful indeed with these creatures. Then we've got Mr. Oz's space bus. So I'm assuming this is Mr. Oz down here with his space gun and his space armour. Uh, we've got one of our protagonists with a cloak here, the green sort of gunge guy uh, on his space tether. And the school bus has been converted, much like in the hidden side, actually, but with space buzz now uh, written on it. Next stop, Snooze Street. Another one of these little dudes, this white space one uh, with a fun face on the inside. This is the one I thought looked like Ultra Agents, by the way, this great big sort of shuttle with these uh, guns on the ends of the wings and so on, and this blue cockpit uh, sort of thing. Uh, big engines and more of those jet pieces. This one blue with dark blue tinges. There all seem to be multiple colours, which is really interesting, I must say. Uh, another sort of Time Cruisers-esque print on there, which is a, a blend of the Space Lego logo uh, and a uh, uh, hourglass. And then my favourite, as you already probably have guessed, we've got five of the little black creatures. <laughs> They're really good fun. We've got the three-eyed one again with the wings and the horns. But now we've got the pirate one with a big pirate moustache and a pirate hat and a pirate gun. We've got the space one with uh, the uh, breathing tanks and the helmet. We've got the knight one with a massive sword under his armpit. And then we've got the top hat one with a cleaver, no less. <laughs> So there's five of those, and since you get them all in this set, uh, this might be the one for me. <laughs> so that is Mr. Oz's Space Bus 71460. Fantastic. Oh, what creativity. Two more, I think. Uh, this is the Fantastical Treehouse. We've had a lot of tree houses recently, and this is uh, quite similar in the sense that we've got a tree with loads and loads of things bolted on it. Uh, we've got that lady again on the top there. Can't really work out what's going on there. Almost looks like she's a DJ, but I don't think she is. They're now using the Azure, what looks like dark and medium Azure uh, versions of these flame pieces to be hanging off the tree, kind of like the willows or something like that. Great big swing coming off this bit that says Treehouse, another two by six sticker I might want. Uh, then the door in there, a carnivorous plant on the bottom, loads of different toadstools and mushrooms which seem to be for sale, by the way. So uh, there must be edible fun. <laughs> and then we've got that witch finder uh, again, who seems to have an eye on his hat this time. Maybe he did last time. He was just looking away from us, but kind of crossbow and so on. I really like him. There's the cage monster, at least a smaller version of it as well. And uh, one of those little black fellas again. This one looks like he's got an even bigger head this time. Maybe he did in the first place, but there's all sorts going on there. Uh, wow, it's just wacky. Uh, I like it, but I don't think I want it. Last one. Oh, and we've left the last <laughs> till the, the end. This is just, wow, staggering amazing. So in the Ninjago last year, I was sort of thinking of getting some of the undersea sets there because they were really cool, actually. And really varied and really creative. And I'm kind of tempted by this in the same vein, in that we've got a pirate ship that seems to fly in the air with these turbine engines, uh, with more of those jets, this time with a what well, looks like trans pink and purple in the middle, uh, but also with this uh, shark body with a kind of anchor coming out of the mouth, all these ribs with a bed in it, it looks like. So I think that's where they must capture and keep all of these stolen sleeping children. Uh, and then this tail coming out of the back. So that is, well, just really cool. I just love that. Uh, and then on the top, we've got the uh, Nightmare King there with all of his eyes and his eye sword and that huge eye there. That's really good. Somewhere to pilot from. Lanterns galore. I mean, in the grey as well and the lanterns, it's so sort of nightmarish and uh, dreamlike. I think this is the best one of the whole lot. We have got the little one with the little black fellow with the uh, horns. We've got the, he has got a big head, doesn't he? With a lolling tongue coming out and a huge sword. That looks scary. Uh, two heroes, oh, little bunny again, 
and the sloth girl who's awake this time. So I'm assuming that's Zoe. So, wow, what a set and what a line. I mean, I kind of thought they knocked it out of the park with a hidden side, really. But this is a similar but, again, totally different theme. It's borrowing on a lot of past themes, I think. But I've got to say I really like it. Uh, I don't think it's one really massively for Brick Nottingham, and I don't think I'll necessarily be buying this as a submarine for uh, my 20,000 Bricks Under the Sea cabinet as well, but the minifigures, ooh, they're tempting me. These uh, little black dudes definitely are, and there's loads of interesting pieces. So, yeah, I'm really into this. Ooh, and that looks like a play feature, doesn't it? Oh, that's probably a winder for the uh, anchor, isn't it? Yeah, very, very cool. I like the fact that these engine covers are... Uh, see-through as well and it looks like more eyes in there I don't know if they're the sort of piston heads or something like that but that looks really interesting as well teeth around the intake yeah it's just it's got a really good attention to detail so I'm very impressed with the dreams line uh, I think it's absolutely crazy uh, but uh, yeah well done Lego so only a few more left now, uh, and these are probably more that I won't be into, given that they're Harry Potter. But this is 76414, the Expecto Patronum. Yep, had to read that off the label on the bottom. Uh, and this isn't one for me. I guess that's not really one for your setup either. I, I assume that's for your shelf, just to sort of enjoy the uh, big stag type build. Uh, I've got literally no frame of reference for this, so uh, I'm just going to move on, I think. Uh, on to the Battle for Hogwarts uh, 76415, which kind of, to me, my uneducated eye looks very much like a lot of other Hogwarts sets indeed. Uh, same sort of battles, same sort of characters, same sort of build. Uh, maybe it's a bit more interesting than I'm giving it credit for from different angles. I don't know. Uh, I do like this expression here on this lady with the black hair. Uh, I also really like these, what look to me like new energy pieces. We've got kind of a twisty bit that comes out from uh, an anti-stud to a stud, it looks like. And then a sort of splash type piece, which does look different from the ones we've had in recent Marvel sets uh, on the end, both in this trans red and this trans bright green, is that? Uh, and yeah, this obviously is in the films when Harry won't give in to the Slytherin Emperor uh, and join the dark side as the battle for the galaxy rages on on the outside. So that's clearly the scene that's being uh, shown here from the films. Uh, then next we've got the Quidditch trunk, 76416 which is kind of a hard thing to display Quidditch and the fact that they're all supposed to be flying around in midair uh, with these, I think, are the goals, are they? Uh, the four houses uh, on these printed or stickered, they look stickered maybe, pieces. And these shields are very attractive, though again, not for me. I love these hooded pieces because they've not just got the cloak, but they've got the kind of hood that goes on top and it's dark blue, dark red, uh, yellow and dark green. So that looks really nice. Wouldn't mind those pieces. These tiles look good in 2x6, but I think they are 2x6, though. I, I mean, I would like it just to have these two bits on here without the third one uh, with the uh, house on, But so I don't think I can use those. But there is some sort of play feature here, isn't there? It looks like where you can have somebody flying around uh, and doing uh, whatever you're supposed to do in this sort of thing. And <laughs> this where you've got to, what, aim these things through a stud shooter to fire through these? Don't know. Is he a goalkeeper? No idea. <laughs> Do you know, once I saw real life adults in a park uh, playing Quidditch. I, I was I was absolutely just, my jaw was open. I, I was sort of like, so what, what are they actually doing? And somebody pointed out that they were playing Quidditch because they all had a real broom in between their legs. And these are adults running around, young adults, but nonetheless adults, <laughs> running around the park playing Quidditch. But they can't fly on these brooms. So it's sort of, is that just so you, you have to play it one handed? And then is it just not handball? I need explanation. I was just I was just staggered that that even was a thing. Uh, tell me if you've uh, heard of that monstrosity going on near you. <laughs> and then last, and probably least actually, uh, is 76421, Dobby the house elf with, is that a sock on a book? That's weird. I don't know what's going on there and what looks like a big cake. 
this clearly isn't one for me. I think this would have been better with, uh, instead of the cake and the book, uh, a tank of frogs to feed Jabba the Hutt with uh, from that famous scene, of course, in the film. That would have been much more appropriate, if you ask me. Uh, but there we go. That is absolutely everything. Oh, is it? Oh, no, there's one more. <laughs> Diagon Alley, Weasley's Wizard Wheezes. Uh, which we had in the full Diagon Alley set. Uh, clearly it's more attainable now, it's on its own, and it comes with a little side build here of the owl post. But it feels like we've done this. Uh, it isn't suitably different. I mean, it's the same window pieces, very similar stickers, the same sort of head thing, same sort of... Well, it doesn't have the play feature moving it, it seems. This sign's nice and new. The minifigures even look largely similar. Uh, I'm not sure what this is. Puking pastels. So, yeah, I don't know if that's a very fun joke to uh, give to somebody or a fun magic trick. Maybe you just do it on uh, very evil people. But even then, it's morally questionable uh, to make somebody very ill. But, um, yeah, that's probably my favourite part of it. And this bubble here, which looks like another sweet for sale. Uh and I suppose the owl post is kind of like Game of Thrones but with owls instead of ravens where they're used as the postal service. So that's quite good fun as well. So, yeah, yeah. All right, I guess. But I bet these parts aren't available on their own. Have to look on eBay. So there we go. Uh, an absolute load of good sets. Mainly for me for the uh, individual pieces, especially on this New Dreams line. Uh, I do like a lot of the uh, city sets, but in the majority of them, even the ones with the animals on, I like, uh, you know, just some parts of it. So it's going to be a real cherry pick uh, exercise for me. I'm going to have to basically go onto uh, bricks and pieces a lot, as I usually do, and buy all of the pieces that are relevant to me at uh, grossly marked up prices from people who've parted them out. But, uh, you know, worse things happen. <laughs> Well, the longest video I've done for quite a while, but uh, it was definitely necessary with that volume of summer releases to come. Uh, do tell me in the comments section which are your favourites and which one you're planning to buy on day one. Obviously using my links because uh, you want to, to support the channel. Um, but I think LEGO are doing really well at the moment. Uh, there's a lot of variety, a lot of really interesting stuff, and a lot of really interesting build techniques in relatively kind of normal sets. So long may all that continue. Long may they give us uh, much more animal pieces, which I'm most excited about on those city sets, and uh, interesting play features, and, uh, well, that interesting new line, of course, Dreams. Very good fun. I think there's going to be a TV program for it. Uh, yeah, you'll have to tell me what you know about that. Anyway, uh, I've spoken for far too long, so I'm going to let you go. Uh, so as always, thank you very much for watching. It is appreciated. Do remember to like, comment and subscribe for more awesome LEGO videos. Uh, and if you value this channel, there are many ways in which you can support it. Do click on the links below to support the channel, especially when buying any of these brand new sets. And next time on Robin Hood Bricks, uh, I'll be doing hopefully something in the cabinet or in the fairground. I'm a bit mixed up now because I haven't done a haul on a Wednesday and I didn't do uh, a video on Monday. So, well, goodness knows what I'll get up to. But whatever we do, I'm sure it'll be great fun. So until then, see you. Yes, I need a seal, a baby seal, a killer whale, a shark, a hammerhead shark, a ray.